I didn't have it recording. Folks, we were hunting mushrooms right here and a turkey just flew off. He scared the heck out of me. And I realized he was on, there was a nest right here with about 10 eggs in it. So he flew away. So we're gonna get out of here so he comes back. So he'll abandon it. He's right by the nest. Nest is right, right there. You can see a little head sticking up there. Looks like he's got something. Yeah, maybe. Folks, this is day two of the strip mines. Trying for crappie and walleye again. Maybe some large mouths. You'll figure it out eventually. You gotta be almost 10 feet out before it quits dragging into those weeds. And then it just drops off. We're in 10 feet of water right here. 10 to 11 feet, according to the anchor. It's on. Wow. Let's take a look, take a look. That ain't a bass, is it? It is a bass. It is? Yeah, it is. Bring her right on. Let's see if she is. Darn. I thought it was a walleye. Hey, it's in limit. It's an 18. You think so? Either that or 17. Sticking out of the side. Alright, folks, I just caught a nice large mouth. I actually thought it was the walleye for the longest time until he's seen it. Oh man, and he got off. Oh man. Gosh. Great job, man. Man, that was a nice fish too though, wasn't it? I did exactly what you said. When I get on the edge of that weed line, which is about eight feet out, I just let it drop. Yep. About five seconds, then I started reeling it in. Man, that was a monster of a bat. He put up a hell of a fight. is a drum. drum oh man the worst of the worst <laughs> i didn't even know them were in here that's horrible <laughs> that damn drum gosh they wouldn't fight like anything uh -uh. <laughs> i'd rather catch a gar than a drum <laughs> Yeah. Well, if that would have been a crappie, we'd be hanging something on the wall. Oh, yeah. You guys want a drum? <laughs> I'm sure you do. Get over here. Get over here and take this thing. <laughs> I had no idea. They must have. 
Oh man. They definitely didn't stock them in here, I wouldn't think. Unless they're food for bass. That's funny. It's a fish though. About 17, 18 inches. I'm making casts real long ones behind me too, over here to the left. Cause that's shallow up in there. It'll be perfect depth all through here. Our first crappie, it took us a few hours to find them, but we found them and we're staying in this cove a while. Then we'll go to the waterfall and toward the evening. It's a nice one. He's about, what do you say, nine or 10 inches? Yeah. It's a black crappie. I think all the crappie in here are black. Never caught any whites. Got him on the, what do you guess, the electric chicken again, Bobby Garland. Nice black crappie there, folks. Very pretty. All right, we're going to put him in the bucket. The male. Can you just drop him down right here. Okay. The... Yep. <laughs> what did I just say, though? This cove's perfect because we can fish the whole thing without, right side in the middle. They're side, in, side they're, to side. Look yep. They're in the middle. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow, there Across we go. Across the bucket, that's 12 inch Yeah, that sure is. 12 inch lid. I believe so. Mm-hmm. This cove is perfect, this entire cove. We're out of the wind, and we can fish. If we're in the middle, we can cast behind us, in front of us, diagonal, anywhere. Just cast and let it fall. This is our... Yeah. Got one. I'm not making it bad because I think it's a bass. I think it is too. Yep. The way it was, it was kicking. Throw it over here. They're starting to bite better, ain't they? Yeah. Maybe the <laughs> broke my line. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, well we gotta get that one back. he's gonna be swimming around with a lure for a while. Gosh darn it. You know what part of this is too, and we didn't think about it? the fish are in here because they're out of the wind. Shit. Oh shit! You have um, or something. All right, folks. I just got my second walleye from this place. It's a little smaller than the one I caught the other day. Ooh, buddy! I caught this one on a pink phantom, Bobby Garland, with a pink jig head. So we just learned the walleye here are biting on pink, so we need to stick to that color. He's about 18 inches though, isn't he? 18 or 19. Ooh, ooh. Not yeah. done fighting yet. Oh, he's wrapped around the anchor. Oh, fuck me. No. Pull the anchor up a little bit. <clears throat> Got him out of anchor now. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey. Uh, pull. To me. Something. I wasn't on. I wasn't. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. That's all you needed. It is a second chance to grab oh, a hold. Man, that's a beautiful walleye here, folks. It's about 20 inches, just like my one the other day, isn't it? Made our trip worth it. We might get another one down there at that waterfall, too. Man. You know what I just said? Maybe them were walleye feeding. It could have been. I told you, yeah. Not necessarily crappie. All right, folks, this is a beautiful walleye. He's about 19 inches, maybe 20. He's definitely more than 18. And it, it was pregnant and squeezing some eggs out of its rear end there a little bit. What a beauty. Real dark one. Let's see it. Hold it out here for us. You can zoom in? Yeah, I zoomed in. <laughs> we 
we was having not a great day. We're catching them, just not very. We're averaging about one fish an hour, but they're all nice, except for the few small bass we caught in the drum. Other night we've caught some nice crappie, and I had that big bass on. Wow. You gonna lip him? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you lip a fish like this? That's a nice walleye. I'll put him in the bucket now, I guess. Now, we caught two walleye back to back. They're feeding in here. Good job, dude. Oh my gosh, it's a nice one too. About the same, isn't it? 19. Wow. He's not on good. He's not on good at all. I'm going to lose him. You got it. You got it. Nice. Two walleye in five minutes, guys. We, I was starting to wonder if me and John was ever going to have a good day. I really was. We had a few boring, we probably had three pretty boring hours there. Of course, we came during the middle of the day. We got here about noonish, one. And uh, from one to three was just slow. And all of a sudden it's picked up and we found the right little cove in this lake. I think we were just in the wrong spots earlier. <laughs> and uh, it finally paid off. We we're really into them now. When you get him up, hold it for a few seconds and I'll film you. His is about the same, so it's a little smaller. He's probably 17. Okay, I'm zooming right now. John just got his first walleye of the day. It's our second total. And we got one nice 12 inch crappie in the bucket and one bass. We are on them, folks. We're having a good day now. We still got an hour and a half to fish. We're going to try this cove a little longer since we're catching them. It'd be stupid to move, wouldn't it? No point in going to the waterfall when they're in here. Good job, brother. He also caught his on an electric chicken, Bobby Garland. <laughs> Who needs walleye jigs? You save money, you just buy crappie and walleye jigs together. <laughs> God. That's so odd. Okay, I'm zooming again. All right, yeah. All right, we're gonna, should we keep that one or put it back? Keep it? Here comes somebody. I don't know what the size limit even is duck right here doesn't even care we're here yeah. there he is maybe a duck but i don't think so some kind of no it's not a duck it's too small to fly though i think that's what they call a brown thrasher that's what it looks pretty like. neat looking yeah i'm gonna leave it on now I had it on. All right. All right, folks, got my second crappie. It's a small one. We're here right before dark. We're getting ready to head out soon. Got about 15 good minutes. He's a smaller guy, about six or seven inches. I had the camera on. Yeah, it turned off. Oh, man, I got to pay attention to that stuff. Usually I can hear it wind when it shuts off it'll make a winding noise please tell me there's more right here but bigger aunt sue come on bluegill is it oh on? god look, yeah look at this oh yeah a miniature bluegill on a miniature garland on wow blue lightning blue lightning bluegill folks john just had his pole in one hand, he had another pole that was leaning over the side of the canoe with a, with a crappie jig on it. And the crappie jig was dangling down in the water and we were just trolling along. He just caught a big 16 inch crappie. You might want to measure it. That's, that's gotta be 16 inches. Hold him up for us. We'll get a good zoom of him. There you go, John. That's a nice white crappie too. They are mixed in here. That's the only white crappie I've seen out of here. My God, yeah. That... He had his pole dangling off the side of the canoe with a jig hanging down just maybe a foot or two in the water. It was the pole he wasn't using, fishing with the other pole. 
and all of a sudden his pole just doubled over and he just caught a 14 and three quarter inch crappie here big old white crappie it's his personal best we've been trying to catch crappie all day we haven't done real great and of all the ways you can possibly get one it had to be on accident like that my goodness that is a beauty wow that is awesome john and what i'll do i'll film a little bit longer and then i'll snap some actual pictures of you i don't know because i'll be able to take pictures from the video that is a nice crappie we wanted to leave earlier and we decided you know what let's just say that we can't see and i'm so glad we did because we finally got what we got nice walleye now and nice crappie one thing we're missing is a big bass but we had a good day now that is oh yeah because that lid is 12 inches as you can see here folks this bucket lid is exactly 12 he's almost 15 inches gosh and i didn't know whites were in here that's a hoss. <laughs> my goodness. Our catch for the day, John's going to be my light guy. We got an 8 inch crappie, a small 12 inch bass, a 12 inch crappie, and then his big, damn near 15 inch, it's 14 and 3 quarter. The uh, 16 inch walleye, and the, or 17 and the 19 inch walleye. Yeah. They're already faded and kind of bland looking. I think his is a male and mine's a female. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But that is, uh, like we said earlier, this is John's personal best crappie right there. And set next to a 12 incher makes the 12 incher look eight, looks eight. But it is, it, <laughs> it's just that big of a difference. <laughs> it it's is. like a humpback. My that's gosh. A big old buddy. Right yeah there. and then we got a couple couple more little niblets in the bucket <sighs> all right well until next time i'm i ain't gonna be able to go for a few days hopefully i can go sunday Personal my best. vacation is typically uh, technically over so I had a good vacation we had wilma got her personal best large mouth uh, I got a few mushrooms, got to see the eagle nest, I got John to get his personal best crappie, and I almost got my personal best wall. I just missed it by a few inches, but it was the fattest one I ever caught, so we're going to get loaded back up, and we got an hour and 20 minute drive, so we're going to head that way. <laughs>